We got one already done. <laughs> All right, which one do we want this on? How about the back of the other one? This is the other side of it. So we'll just do that. That'll be perfect. And this one's done, one and done. Look at that. A little bit different. That's okay. Okay. I thought about just leaving everything separate so she could actually glue these on another project if she wanted. I don't know, you guys. Maybe I should just do nine new ones. Hmm. I think I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and do what I originally wanted to do. I wanted to... I wanted to glue them back to back, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Whoa, I'm like all over the place now. Okay, that's up, and this is... Let's do it like this. Cool, because we got the butterfly and the butterflies. That's perfect. Cool, so that's one done. Oh, here, just to recap, here and here. I really like that. Okay. Let's kind of go along the same, let's see, let's do kind of the same thing. This one I went totally covered with something. I'm going to go, I'm going to, what am I going to do? I'm going to use this. Okay. And then give me more stuff to cover and do. All right. Guess it doesn't really matter because this is non directional. Ranger. I don't want you up here right now, baby. No. Good boy. Okay. So we already have our bingo and our stamps. So let's do, what about doing a card? One of these, oh wait, maybe this one. That's pretty. That's really pretty. But now I need to do something else underneath of it. So... Maybe this is where I can use this piece that I wanted. Underneath here. This. Or maybe on this side. Maybe just, no, because I like that rose. No, oh, I can't fold it down. <laughs> so I do it like that. Okay. Okay. So we're going to cut this little bit off here. And then we're going to that little bit off there. Okay. And then we're going to use this. <laughs> Actually, let me start a bigger spot here. All right. The problem is, is that when you first go to use this, I mean, I know it is actually technically running out, but it's not like so bad that it doesn't still create a darn mess if I don't, you know, um, 
keep an eye on it. So um, I, is there's still a bunch left in here, but I'm trying to be, it, it, you really don't need that much with this at all. Okay. So this I want right here. This needs to go up a little bit. Oh, yeah. All right, well, oops. I keep, I'm sorry, you guys, I keep going out of the picture. All right, so I'm going to do this. I really wanted to see that. Okay, I'm going to cut a smidge off of here. This side. Smidge off of the bottom of this one because I really want to see that rose. I need to round these edges too. Okay. Well, my husband has fallen asleep. <laughs> Y'all are wondering what that big snore is. <laughs> I tell you, it's funny. Um, people always question us, but we really, truly do like to hang out together. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the reasons why I move. I mean, I have, I have craft room. But it's out here now. <laughs> I mean, not it's not out here, but I come out here because I like to hang out with him. Okay, let's see here. Let's get back into this little goody jobber stuff here. What do I want? Let's see. I could do another flower. Okay, why is that not wanting to stick at the top? Bad vellum. <laughs> like it understands me, right? <laughs> That'd be actually really kind of cute right there. Okay, I'm going to take this. Okay, so there's that. Hold that down for just a second. This would have been really pretty on this too, actually. Yeah. Maybe we'll do this on another one, the next one or something. Let's see. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's a little too big now. I wanted something. I keep forgetting I have all these other things over here that I don't want to use. <laughs> that would be pretty. I totally have to cut this down now. Ooh, this one's kind of torn anyway. Okay, let me I'm gonna cut this. I guess I should clean my scissors up. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey. Rich. Rich. <laughs> you guys are gonna hear, hear my husband snoring. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, how funny. At least he has today off, so. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be cracking up when I replay this, y'all. <laughs> like, hey, babe. 
How are we tonight? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Okay, yeah, that is much better. Still going to have to darken up the edges, I think, a smidge. Just a smidge of the edge. Okay. Darn it. I can't get it. I can't get my hands on it. I definitely don't want this one straight. So I'm just going to put it wherever I put it and cut off whatever I cut off. But I definitely want this one on. Whoopsie. I'm going to be pulling some off of this one. Okay. So leave that there for a minute. Yeah, that is the one thing I don't particularly care for about having to use the glue. The number one, it sticks to me. <laughs> on my table and everywhere else. And uh, number two, well, it sticks everywhere. Which is exactly what I just said. <laughs> 15 million reasons why I don't like Tombow glue. I sell it in my store, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Come up. There we go. Oops. I, I mean, I shouldn't say I, I don't like it. I just, I don't use it very often. No, I want this over here. The way I originally started. <laughs> okay, so now I need something for my the center of my flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is cute, but I don't know if it's going to be big enough to cover that big old mess now. Let's see here. Well, I don't know if this is going to be big enough. I think I kind of want something a little bit bigger than that. It's cute though. I guess I could just do this. <laughs> do like a double, a double center. Have that, and then have this. That would be kind of cute. Let's go with it. That's going to stick because it's already got glue on it. Because I bobbled it already. All right. I'll get this on here. Quick look. Okay. All right. I need to trim a bit on this side. Trim a bit on this side. A little bit more, I guess. Alrighty. I might add a little bit more, but for now, I'm good. Alrighty, let's see. What do we want on the other side of this one? I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. What else do we have that we can play with? I love this. That's definitely going to need to be trimmed up. I love this, but I'm definitely going to have to add something. So, what about... Okay. We have... Oops, wrong side. We have this. I could trim that piece off. Or I could go with some more of this. Or I could go with this. Okay, so that covers the whole thing. All right, I'm going to, I'm going to go with the NGO. 
B-I-N-G-O. <laughs> B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O and Bingo was his name. Oh. You guys remember that? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh. B-I-N-G-O. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shut up now. Ooh, I might actually have to pull up my other Tombu. A Tombu. Tombo. Blue. I'm trying to combine the two. Oh, wow. Am I really going to run out? Oh my gosh, y'all. I think it might actually run out. <laughs> I'm definitely on the tail end of this one. It's okay. We got plenty more where this came from. All right. So get this baby on here. Just like that. I already know I want this going on here. Right there. We're gonna use our cut off whatever we don't need kind of thing. Okay. Let's pull this maybe like right here. Okay, and we will cut these off. Okay, there's that. Did I go out of the camera again? Oh my gosh, I'm so bad about that, you guys. I'm so sorry. Look at this cute thing. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, I still want this postcard on here, but I don't want to do... I don't want to cover up that much. So let's see here. Go parcel post. Just kind of keep going. Trade. Hmm. We, we could do the alphabet since we already have bingo going on. <laughs> I really don't want to cover up this 35 if I don't need to. If I have to do, or, well, let's see. Okay, let me see what we got here. Huh. <laughs> but, you know. I will probably change my mind because that's what I do. Nope, pretty going that way. Cut that one off that right there. That one's pretty good. Oops, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use this again because I'm already pretty close to being out of my tombow. Oh, it looks like I'm almost out of this one too. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys look, the ink from my fingers is sticking. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> And I actually showed that to you. <laughs> I'm so gross. Okay, maybe I'm not gross, but it's kind of gross, right? Okay. Yay. I need to get this ink off my fingers. Okay, so that's a little bit of a... I need to cut this little piece here. All right. What else do we want on this? How about... I guess butterflies. Do that here. Mm. I don't know what that is. It's kind of weird looking, but it would work. Darn it, I wanted that on. I gotta leave this up here so I remember to use it. Couple 
couple of different layers on there. Look at this. 65 cent. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I give it some color. Pop it up. Oh, I forgot that one got shoved under something too. All right. Okay, nothing else under there. <laughs> Just had to make sure. I'm like, dang, forget about that one too. How about another butterfly here? That way my bingo 35 still shows. And we got a pretty good little gambit here. What do you think? Should I do the flowers instead of the 65 cent thing? Eh. I'll figure it out. Okay. This first. I don't even remember how I was going to do that. <laughs> you know what they say, no brain, no pain. <laughs> good <laughs> keep layering it on because of that my friends is what looks cute oh butterflies butterflies oh, I'm going to try and pull some more of this Tombow glue out of here for these babies oh yes and there it goes all of it all in one shot Like. Maybe real quick, like, geez, Louise, I can get the glue to come out. So, like, I know we're not totally out on this thing, <laughs> but sometimes, you know. Okay, there's that, and then we're going to do the flower and call it good. There's that one on the flip side of that one. Might add some more to that. We'll see. Okay, let me see where we're at time-wise. Oh, okay. I might have to cut some of this out. Gotta go. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, everybody. It's Mimi, Stamping with a Grandma Giggles. I decided that I needed to show you guys. I wasn't able to do a video last night because, you know... Both boys were home, my husband and my youngest son, and uh, they wanted to play games and have their their TV up, and I wanted to be out here hanging out with them as usual, so I didn't do my video last night, but I wanted to um, show you guys what I've completed on our vintage 3x3 three three, um, pocket card holder, I think is what I... I I think that's what it's called, or card pocket holder, pocket card holder. Uh, you know. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Call it what you want. So, um, the other thing is, um, I don't know if you guys remember me doing this uh, tag uh, a few months back. But uh, I decided to, I'm going to include this with my uh, gift to my girlfriend. And... I really, ooh, I need to put something there. I had something there. <laughs> anyway, squirrel. So, but I didn't complete the back of this one. I did, you know, kind of goof it up a little bit. I mean, not goof, but uh, junk it up a little bit, but not really like I like. You know, I like to have all these different designs on it. So 
I might actually, you know, add a little bit of stamping on here before um, I send it out to her. Uh, but I thought about leaving this side blank for her to decorate. So all I'm going to do if I do anything to this is I'm going to just kind of put some um, stamps on it. You know, light stamps and some medium light and dark. I'll probably do this side a little bit lighter. Um, you'll see the other two, the other one that I did on both sides. Um, it's definitely lighter than this one is. Um, and this one is, um, I dubbed this one out with the old and with the new. So you see the arrows all going down out with the old and then you come up with the new and the new fandangled stickers and such and the time and flying with the airplane flying out of here. Anyway, so, um, so that's what I na had named this one. I don't have a name for most of my stuff, but, uh. And this ribbon that I originally thought I was going to throw away, I ended up using it on here because, well, it worked <laughs> with this really dark line that I have here. So anyway, so that's the one that I did. I've already showed it, but I thought I'd show it with this video because I'm going to go ahead and send it to her. So this is the one I did last night. Um, I put a few things. I let things hang over a little bit on this one. And I just thought, you know, I, I don't know. I liked it, so I did it. <laughs> And then on this side, I have this that kind of matches this part here. So I kind of put that off to the side and let these all hang over here. This little saying here, you can't really see it, but it says, uh, well, this says where, okay? So where, and then I had, um, on this side, I have the map and all that fun stuff. But anyway, um, this says, if the path be beautiful, let us not ask where it leads. And, uh, this just reminded me of my friend cause she's just such a beautiful person. Um, and, uh, just, uh, uh, she, she got me these beautiful three by three, um, uh, paper pocket <laughs> cards that, uh, it, they just came at a perfect time. And so it was like, it's kind of like she knew, you know, that I needed it and, uh, Anyway, so um, the other thing I wanted to show you is, you see, this is a card that's, uh, it's a solid, you know, on a pa piece of paper. This is the exact image. It's just on vellum. So I don't know if you can see this part here. And look what a difference that is. You know, the difference in the, the way it makes it look. Anyway, so that is that tag that I finished. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you the completed um, pocket card holder. Uh, I, I added some ribbons that she can take off and use if she wants in three different sizes. And uh, I did this one in the, uh, this is an old olive from Stampin' Up! Color. And this is a terracotta tile. And then this is a crumb cake uh, lace from Stampin' Up! I'll get these a little bit closer for you to see them. Just a bunch of different little ribbons that I added in to be, you know, make it kind of playful. Okay, so then on the sides here, um, I've added the washi tape, and I did two different types. I'll show you the other side in a minute, but <clears throat> then on the front of this, I wanted there to be some extra pockets, but I didn't want them to be overly done. So I found I have this beautiful lace. And what I did was um, I just, I used my fabric fix. You can get this at, um, on Amazon. And um, I, uh, I, I glued it down on the outside here and then on this section. So I left this whole area open and then I have this little area here open. Oop, I just pulled that up. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, you guys. And I just wanted to put some fun little cards in there. This is a, just a little sweet little postcard. So she can do her own little thing with this um, on, in the, on the front. And then I put um, this in here. And then I put these flowers in here. And this little lot shipment. She can punch this out. Well, actually, I'll punch it out because... It's cute. She can put ribbon through here or whatever she wants. She can just glue it down somewhere. And um, then I put this cute little bird that I th I was going to try and use it on one of the, the tags, but I ended up not using it. So I put it in here instead so she can use it. 
And then I have, this is on the outside here, this little but butterfly that says forever. And then I have some flowers, another butterfly, some sequin, I mean, um, yeah, uh, no, not sequins, <laughs> glue. Uh, oh my goodness, you guys, gems, rhinestones and gems and those kinds of things. <laughs> and then... Um, I don't, you can see this pocket and this pocket. So, um, I put, I added these on the outside here and I, I put this one, ABC of animals. And then this little card here. Now I've grunged everything up a little bit, which, you know, I love the grunge look. And then on this side, I have this little card. It's more, it's supposed to be like a journal card. There's lines on here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but right there. And then this little cardboard tag. And um, she is a woman of color. She's absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I love her. So I made this a little bit darker. Um, this one here is already in, in this picture is already a woman of color. So I just wanted to kind of go with that. All right, <clears throat> so this is one card, and the other side, okay, I'm going to just kind of put them underneath there, and then this is another card, I got the butterflies up, popped up on dimensionals, and a little half of a heart here, because I thought just it just kind of fit, <laughs> and then <clears throat> I used my, um, chipboard flowers that I got from my friend Danny. Okay. And then on this one, I used a little bit of vellum. And this, um, a lady's diary collection actually came from the paper pack. And I thought, oh wow, that's, that's really cute. <laughs> I can use it. <laughs> and this is that little card that you know, they used to make all the cards on uh, the vellum type paper. It was very, very, uh, very fancy. <laughs> and this is just more of a, like a pull tab so that it can pull the tag out. And then this has the, the, the dining cars and the coaches for the train and that kind of stuff. So I like that. I thought that was really sweet. And then this one, I'm, I think I might have to put some pull tabs on these. I'm not sure, but, and this one I left, um, uh, when she pulls it out, she can fluff these up a little bit more, but, uh, these are going to be able to be, uh, fluffed up and, you know, whatever. And, and she can use these on whatever she wants, you know, she can take them apart, whatever. And, uh, this little butterfly kind of stuck with the theme on this one. <clears throat> Let's leave that right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting here having a hard time getting this one out. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to put a pull tab on that one. So this is uh, more from that other card that I was showing you earlier up here. This one. So this is part of the same thing. <coughs> Pardon me. And it was actually, there was actually a whole little, you know, poem, quick poem for a birthday, but... I really like the best of good wishes are flying to you as just a general, um, I'm wishing you well today, especially with what's going on in the world, uh, with the pandemic. <laughs> and, um, and I, 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 uh, fussy cut this little bird from another piece of that card and just kind of put it together. And I thought it was really cute. And then this one, I, this was so cute. It was an old candy book. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was an old candy book and I just loved it, especially this part of it. And then I, I actually pulled this piece here from a different uh, piece of the page and uh, scruffed it up and just stuck it right on top. And it just talks about how we finally get better flavor and texture in this type of candy when we use a combination of white and brown sugar rather than just brown sugar. <laughs> so... It was just, it was just a fun little thing. And you can actually see the, the extras I put on the page now. <clears throat> okay. So here's another one of those little chipboard 
uh, flowers that I got from Danny. And I love this envelope. I didn't muss it up as much as I wanted to, but it still looked really pretty with this with this uh, vellum. So I just decided to leave it. And then this is that one that I had so many issues with. I just, I couldn't get it to work in my head until I put this one last little piece on here going the opposite way on top of the doily. And then I, uh, then I was like, okay, I'm, that's fine. That's, I'm going to call it good. <laughs> but I actually, I didn't um, fuss this one up, fudge this one up very much at all either. And on this one on the outside, I just put this one little flower. That's all I put. So this one, you can actually see the whole, the whole piece. Okay. And then <clears throat> down here, I put this little ribbon down there. I added that on there. So now we get into this third layer here. And, whoops, I think I got stuck on, there we go. So this one, I really wanted the Southern Railway to stand out on this piece. Um, and then the little heart, that just, that meant, that means something to me. And uh, I love to travel. So for me, traveling is, you know, a heart. It's a love. <laughs> so hopefully she uh, enjoys this. <clears throat> and then on here, um, again, the Southern Train, I wanted that to stand out. And I loved this little single uh, bingo number, which is where I got the idea to put it on. Um, I think it was this one. Yes, this one. So I, <clears throat> and I love that it said table B because it's, you know, B15. <laughs> So I, I just thought it was kind of cute. And then this is the other half of that heart on here. So, and of course, butterflies. I love butterflies in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, then in this one, this one's got a nice little pull tab. And I don't know if you can see the three little black rhinestones here. They look so pretty next to this picture. I just loved them sitting there. So I, I definitely... <clears throat> that was a purposeful, uh, purposeful addition. So we had this little pocket watch here that I love. And of course, more butterflies and flowers. <laughs> and this is on another piece. This is actually on, um, the stamp where I did the, um, I think it's on the next, the next thing. But anyway, it was just an extra piece that I wanted for the background just to kind of have something on the background. And then this is the Kentucky Tennessee border, but it also has St. Louis, Missouri, which is, um, it's a couple hours from where we live, but it's Missouri and she lives in Kentucky. So I thought, how fun would this be to have our two States represented? So that's why I wanted this piece to really kind of show and, and, uh, have its place. <clears throat> and then, oops. This piece, it's not that, one, not that one, this one. <laughs> okay, I don't know. What did I do with those uh, other little, well, I'll have to show them to you in a second because this isn't the one I was thinking it was. Anyway, so this is my third piece of chipboard flower that I got. And uh, I love this arsenic. <laughs> that is so funny. I just, I don't know. You know, it's like they used to do that as a treatment back in the day and now it's <laughs> considered poison. It just cracks me up. But anyway, and then this is uh, more of the bingo card and just a bunch of little letters and some more of the rail um, destination paper. And um, overall, I just am really in love with this. I, I'm thrilled with how it turned out. Um, even my husband liked it, which is, <laughs> which is saying a lot because he's not usually the... Um, He's not usually the vintage type guy. Uh, he likes the he likes the bright, cheery ones. And uh, which is really funny, you guys, because he is he is the um, he likes the flowery stuff. Oh, here's the stamp book I was telling you about. This is what I was talking about: the old stamp book where they had to collect stamps to get stuff. Um, so he. He likes the flowery stuff, and I like the more masculine, mu musky scents. 
Isn't that funny? <laughs> so we always kind of giggle about it because, you know, he's like a manly man. I mean, like your true Japanese manly man, right? And <laughs> here I am, <laughs> the one with all the manly sense that I like. <laughs> oh, man. Too funny. Okay, I'm going to put this one in this way, actually, because I want to. <laughs> and then this one can go in this way. So I hope you guys got to see um, a lot of my journey on this. It is my first three by three that I completed um, all by myself. I'm so proud. <laughs> oh my gosh, too funny. Anyway, um, and, and I, uh, it's my first one, it's my first three by three, but also my first three by three doing vintage. Uh, you know, I love my vintage stuff, but uh, I, I thought, you know, this is like one of my, this is really close, near and dear to my heart. I love the vintage stuff. And this lady just, like I said, she's just such a sweetheart and she really made my day on a day when I really needed it. And I want to do something super special for her. And to me, I thought this was special and I hope that you guys like it as much as I do. Um, let me know in your comments. This is a different, this is the other washi tape that I put on here. And so this is kind of a, I'm just going to kind of throw this. Oop, I lost my top pieces in the other side. All right. I'm hoping this isn't glaring on you guys. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to put my other pieces back in here, and then I am going to say sayonara. I got a kitty trying to get onto the table. Oh, look. Oh, come on, baby. Come here. No, nope, down you go. Okay. And you guys, go check out my other video. Um, hopefully it'll load <laughs> by the time you guys get to see this one. And... Uh, I, uh, I have uh, decided to join Scentsy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I opened all the little trial bottles and I give you, you know, my version of what they smell like and do I like them, do I not like them? And I tell you what my particular tastes are, you know, and that kind of stuff. Go watch it. It's neat. It's so neat. And um, I'm going to do a catalog. Um, I'm going to go over the catalog in the next video so that uh, you guys can see all the stuff that they have. I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I had no idea. I thought it was just warmers and good smells, but boy, was I wrong. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, draw a blank. What is wrong with me today? <laughs> I shouldn't say today because it's like I, I have this, this issue where I'm just like, what in the world? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my adventure. That was, that was, the, that was what I was trying to get at. And um, I hope you join me for many more. Hugs and love. Bye.